Well, now you know I get excited when it's Throttle Thursday. For more than 60 years, it's been the luxury vehicle that can literally go anywhere, including on the Fox 5 back lot in our mega map. Matt Deep from Land Rover San Diego is here now. Good morning. With the latest model to the fleet, which, by the way, is an award-winning vehicle. We'll talk about that in a moment. Good morning, first of all. Hey, good morning. And Happy New Year. Oh, Happy New Year to you, too. Thank we you. were noticing a couple of things. You came out here. We distracted. All the guys came uh -huh. out. Check out the, the, the Rovers here. Talk about Land Rover. Talk about its history. It's been around for a while now. What makes Land Rover so popular and still sure. such a unique vehicle? It's an iconic brand. It's mm -hmm. uh, created 1948. 1970 is the three vehicles we brought today. Mm -hmm is really what created the brand in its yeah. own segment. So 1970, the Range Rover came out and that's been blending the Land Rover capability with the off-road luxury of the Range Rover. And that's and, what we did together. And what I found, you hear this floating around when you're talking about Range Rovers and uh -huh. Land Rovers, that two thirds of the 1940s trucks yeah. still work today. Is that mm -hmm. true? Come on, it two is. thirds? 80%. About, about 80% of every car sold wow. since 1948 is still on the road somewhere. So, okay, yeah. uh, and, uh, and also we know that Expeditions, uh, it was the first car seen by a third of the world's population. When you think about that, just really think about what that means. That means that they're all over the planet. Everybody's seen and recognizes the brand. Yeah, for sure. It's a, it's a huge thing, it's a huge thing. Um, we, uh, we even as a local dealer, sure. Uh, do our own kind of local expeditions for clients who own these vehicles and right, give them right. an experience to actually go do it themselves. I've seen some of the video here of uh, just where, where these cars can actually, it's practically underwater and it's still getting out of there. Uh, oh, yeah, I wanted to sure. talk to you a little bit about how the cars have changed over the years. We mm -hmm. see some of those looking more, a little more rugged. The style of it, how for has sure. it changed over the last 10, 15 years? Sure, big, big changes. Yeah. The vehicles you're seeing on the TV now are all solid actual truck suspension vehicles. Mm -hmm. and. The, the new era of the cars now are all fully independent and uh, mostly air suspension in uh, also, you know, above and beyond what, what the standard independent suspension does for the car. So trash control, ABS, four wheel drive, lots of advancements in that. Okay, let's talk about the, the cars you brought okay. for us. Which, sure. thank you, by the way. You just You're brought welcome. us these cars. We get to you keep them it. forever. Yeah. For the weekend. So, I got to oh, come back on Monday. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we got to go. Okay. So first off, we'll yeah, start this with is the, a, the is classic. This is a traditional Range it Rover. Is. Okay. It's not a formal name, but it's what I like to use with my clients. Okay. It's the Range Rover Classic. Yep. It's our largest size vehicle. So if you look at the front, you can just see the bold stance. And one of the huge things with our products is called a clamshell hood. You'll okay. actually see it on all three of the cars. Right. And then we have the fro floating roof line from the front to the back, meaning you know you have the black through the center, the right. color on the top, the color on the bottom. Um, and what else do we have? Tell me about the the little. Yeah. Like so those that. are the the intake vents for the car. So you know the the capability of the car. Right. Um, and what does that do for folks who just think that it looks cool? Yeah, I mean, it's actually air intake for the engine. So that's where the magic all happens underneath the engine. And the standard engine for our vehicles now, they're all 5.0 liter right. V8, 375 horsepower, but you can get an optional 510 supercharged engine. 510 that, horsepower? is not enough for you. <laughs> oh, so man. So pretty amazing. Matt, 500 horsepower in this puppy? Oh, man. And a nice uh, the leather, and I got the 500 horses under the hood. That's good stuff. Okay, let's talk about the Range Rover Sport. I was sure. telling you that I noticed. I, I guess I hadn't seen them back to back, yep. uh, but I didn't notice just how the Range Rover Sport is slightly smaller than the than the Classic. I didn't really notice how much. So sure. tell me about the Sport. So here's the thing: it keeps with the whole same ideas of of what the Range Rover's all about but it's a little bit more of a sporty design. It's a little bit right. smaller compact. Right. And really when you get inside, you see that it's got more of a cockpit feel to mm -hmm. it versus the full size Range Rover's got more of an open landscape. And um, so that's kind of the different feel for that. It just kind of brings a different buyer to the market mm -hmm. that, that uh, wants a little different feel from a full size car. Okay, now we've teased this enough, Matt. <laughs> Let's talk about the Evoque because sure. we know the Detroit Auto Show is going on and the big announcement this week. Absolutely. Truck of the year for the Evoque. You got it. That's a huge award. Mm -hmm. Tell me about what the award means and about the Evoque, because this is a brand new design. It's a brand new car. It is. It's a new era for Range Rover, definitely. First off, I'll say that just like myself, I'm sure you and all the people out there on TV watching have been to a car show. Yeah. But important about this car is you go to a car show and you see a concept car and you go, oh, I would love to have that right, car. Right, Because they never seem to get on the road. But they never get here. Mm -hmm. This car, you can buy it and drive a concept car. Aside from the mirrors that are on the car you're seeing just right. on the camera right, right now, 
is really the only difference between what the concept was cool. and the car you can come to Land Rover right. San Diego and test drive wow. and buy. So it's an amazing thing. Tell me about the whole uh, environmental consciousness uh, behind this, because we were teasing that this is like 70% recyclable. What are you talking yeah. about, 70% recyclable? What well, it is, but first off, I'll say uh, it's really an SUV for the 21st century. Right. So it's got a modern design, a modern style, and a modern environmental mm -hmm. footprint. Like you said, you were mentioning about the recycled materials. 95% mm -hmm. of every Land Rover can be recycled. There's over 35 pounds of recycled material in that car, and all the other stuff can be recycled in the vehicle. Okay. Um, you know, it's called Throttle Thursday because we like to make some noise. Yeah. I'm going to let you. Do you want to get in the Classic? Which one's going to rev the engine louder? So uh, I'll get in the passenger seat. You should get in the Sport if you like. You can rev that one. Really? Yeah, why don't you do uh, that? Are you going to get in the Classic? Or are you yeah, I'll do the Classic. All right, pardon me one. We're going to... Okay. Here we oh hey now. Oh here we go. There it is. Throttle Thursday, ladies and gentlemen. Matt, thank you very much. Land Rover San Diego Throttle Thursday. Come on, make some noise, Raul. What is that? That's it? That's all we got?